Welcome to the Indie Music Room, a conversation with independent artists about writing, recording, performing, and promoting their original music. And now here's your host, Heather Kelly. Hey everybody, you're listening to Heather Kelly with the Indie Music Room, and I'm very excited to introduce our December guest. Um, it's the Crossover Band, and I'm lucky to have two of them with me today uh, to, to talk about their project and what's been going on. Why don't you um, each introduce yourself? Uh, Nix, why don't you go first? Hey, guys, I'm Nix, lead singer for Crossover. Yeah. And do you do instrumentation, too, or just lead, lead vocals? Only lead vocals. I do my own backup vocals, except on one song that we'll talk about later. Okay. And how about you, Andy? I'm Andy, rhythm guitarist and bassist. Okay. And do you do some pr- production, too, or...? Uh, not for this band, but I have done production in the past. Okay. I think what I was thinking of was, um, Javier, is that his name? Javier, yeah. yeah. Javier, uh, he does some production on your music. So I was looking at the, the notes here. So he's a yeah. guitar and producer that couldn't join us today, but Absolutely. look forward to meeting the whole group some point. Why don't you, uh, take turns about telling me how you got involved in music way at the beginning to begin with? Uh, I took um, musical, like music classes. I played flute, classically trained. Okay. Uh, it started my whole music thing. Um, my family used to make me sing a lot when I was younger. Mm-hmm. So I guess that's where I got the whole drive for it. Um, right. it, didn't, it didn't get serious really till I got 16. Like when I got to 16, I really focused on it. Yeah. And fast forward a lot of years later, I found Andy. Well, Andy found me and crossover. Wonderful. I, I love it. I've um, listened to all the tracks. Uh, in, I mean, the three that you've sent me, but it, in addition to the other tracks too. And, and I think you guys have a really strong group and I look forward to seeing you expand even more. Andy, how did you get your beginning? I started uh, when I was 13. My dad showed me some basic chords on guitar and then I just started doing YouTube covers. Okay. And, uh, that's basically how I started. Uh, I, uh, I did that and um, I just, did crossover and uh, I don't really have any other bands that I've done, but I've done crossover. Wonderful. Yeah. It's funny. I talked to a lot of my guests and it seems like they start developing their music interest when the parent is a musician themselves. My dad was a lot of my friends, dads were, or parents. And it, it that's how it, you know, it, that's all it takes sometimes to get your, your interest peaked. Yeah. Um, why don't you guys Obviously, I'm speaking with Nix, who's all the way from Montreal, Canada, and I've got Andy from Virginia. Since you guys are not in close proximity, how do you go about putting your songs together? Uh, we're technically a quarantine band, uh, crossover <laughs> like us. We got formed right before the quarantine hit. Javier joined us and then it was done. I couldn't fly anymore. I, right. We haven't met. Oh, my gosh. Everything is done by the Internet. Javier is amazing at producing the sound. Uh, Where you see me right now is my room studio. Vocal booth? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) Andy, the same thing at home, like, and then Javier puts everything together. Do you have anything to add to that, Andy? Yeah, just uh, we use GarageBand and, like, uh, BandLab and different apps and stuff like that. So this, unfortunately, I wish you guys were out touring, but unfortunately you got, you developed right at the beginning of the pandemic. So you haven't, haven't had that opportunity to go out, have you? No. We didn't even have a chance to meet up yet. I know. Oh my gosh. What a shame. You're going to have to do that because the music needs to be heard by the people. Andy doesn't even know either. So surprise, Andy, I- I'm going to be in the U.S. in February. So Oh, okay. Awesome. We're going to meet up. Oh, <laughs> yay. This is going to be awesome. I want to do a follow-up and see how it goes when you guys all get Absolutely. together with me. Oh, Absolutely. that would be great. Um, I'm going to play the first song that we talked about. <clears throat> and let me be clear here because I listen to all of them. The first one I'd like to showcase is called A Thousand Times. Why don't you tell me what is the writing process for the three of you? Yeah. Is one just uh, lyrics and the the music comes from the others? Or how does it all get put together? Well, usually Andy will pull out a thing out of his head, like magical, just lead guitar and send it to Javier. And then Javier adds all his magic on it. They send it to me. 
okay. um, a thousand times actually was written the other way. I actually wrote the lyrics for a singing competition on an app. Oh, and nice. I sent the lyrics to Andy. Andy wrote the guitar and Heavier finished it. Oh, my gosh. That's intriguing. I've always worked in a small studio surrounding where I've got everybody with me. So that I, I'm impressed by that. I think that it would be hard to do. Um, I find it's it's music is such a collaborative thing. You work together, but you guys are doing that. It's just all over the Internet. So I think it's really great. Yeah. There's, it's all about what you want to do, right? Yeah. There's no limit. Absolutely. Especially now with the yeah. Internet, there's no limit. Yeah, nobody can make excuses because we've got means to do it. So exactly. with that said, we're going to get, go ahead and listen to a thousand times. And when we get back, we're going to dive into a little bit more um, information about your guys' band because I, I am excited to have you on my show. But that
we are back with Nick and Andy, and that was a thousand times by crossover. That is a beautiful song. You guys sound uh, familiar to me. I, I don't want to. I don't want to say who I think you sound like because I could be way off base, and I don't want to offend or whatever. But I thought it sounds like Evanescence a little bit. You've got that really dreamy, haunting voice, and I, I think it's great. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, uh, the songwriting process we talked about a little bit. Um, do are you the only lyricist that writes the lyrics, or do the others pitch in too? Uh, Andy and his wife. Okay. Um, Andy's wife is involved. Um, Black out the darkness. Okay. Um, Stranger was written by Andy, and the world we live was written by her. Oh, that's wonderful. I do like when somebody presents me with a good song so I don't have to. It's painstaking to write a song. So it's like if somebody's got something great and it fits my voice, let's do it. But that's great that you have collaboration with that. Um, They're awesome. I mean, if if I can connect with the lyrics, I, I, I love to have somebody write lyrics for me. Like you said, writing a whole album, like we all get writer's block. So I love it when Andy's like, here's music, here's lyrics. And I'm like, okay. Yeah, yeah, especially when you when you can relate to it. So that's great. You know, we talked earlier, um, you guys haven't had the opportunity to meet, you know, much less play a show. Why haven't you thought about doing wireless or, I mean, um, internet shows? Have you ever thought about doing online? We thought about it. Uh, I don't have the equipment right now. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't either. I don't have the equipment. Yeah. Javier is set up. Javier is in a studio. He has indoor sun. Um, yep. so he has a whole studio. He, so he's really set up for everything. That's why, uh, we're focusing really, we're going to meet up there and be able to you put know, it together. Produce. Yes. And finally meet up. I was, uh, how long have you been doing this? You guys, I mean, I know it was just before the pandemic. So what was that? Like February, January 20, Febu- February, 2021. Okay. Got it. Yeah, oh like God. when Javier joined and the sound completely changed. Like uh, we had a previous drummer. We let, we had to let him go. Yeah. And um, we redid every song that we had. So uh, Javier could produce with a, a better quality, a better. Yeah. 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 That's always a touchy subject um, when you had somebody in your group and the group's moving forward, but they're not. And so that that's a hard decision to make, but you yeah. got to keep in mind there are a thousand yeah. musicians out there that that can do you know do it just as good. No disrespect, but um, absolutely, yeah, that's great. You're finding your sound. Tell me about the next song we're going to listen to in a little while called "Stranger." You had mentioned that Andy wrote this one. I'll let Andy talk about it. Okay, great. Next, thanks. Yeah, I wrote this song about uh, basically how people only come around whenever they want something or need something. Oh yeah. That's what I wrote it about. You know, when I was listening, I wondered where it came from, like where what those lyrics were about. But I can see now that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. So how long did that take you to write? About 15 minutes. Oh. <laughs> 15 minutes? So good. Yeah, about 15 minutes. I'm going to buy you some notebooks so you can just keep writing one of those a day. <laughs> you write that fast. Right. It just, it just came to me. I don't know. Yeah. It just came to me. And I was like, I, the guitar just came to me. And I was like, and then the lyrics came to me. And I'm like, that's a good message. You know, people feel like they're strangers in your life because they only come around whenever they want something or need something. Mm-hmm. I agree. We weed out a lot of those people in our life, don't we? Yeah. My goodness. Okay. Um, do you want to tell me about Stranger? We, you had you presented it to Nix and the rest of the band because you had the kind of the body of it yeah i had uh, the whole song basically written and everything i just presented it to him okay great and you liked it right nix right away absolutely i mean he even went as far as to sing it for me like oh yeah um, so, so i could follow exactly how he saw it how he envisioned it melodically um, and very just, badly but yes <laughs> you're not <laughs> oh no 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 stop <laughs> But yeah, he sang it for me so I could just go ahead and put my own twist on it and put my, and uh, great. it was the first song that we came out um, when we redid the whole new sound of crossover. Right. Um, Stranger was the first song and it really hit people. Like you could see the, the, the difference in the quality of the sound and uh, what we sound like as a unit right now. Yeah. And it really helped out. 
Have you guys put out any music video? Oh, well, you can't really do that. I was just thinking, you know, some people would play and everybody would be in their Zoom corner and have a, a show or something. But I just wondered if you were able to, with photos or anything, put some kind of videos together yet that you've released? Or is that on the plan for February too? We had one um, with the ex-drummer, so... Oh. Unfortunately, we had to take it, but um, yeah, uh, we're planning on another one. It, it, we have. I had the vision for it, and okay. um, it's taking a long time. I mean, my visions are very uh, big and broad. Right. I have to. It, it's got to be. You know, I don't want to take out. We have a standard that we follow. Yes, and I don't want to drop the quality just to get faster products out. So we're working on it. Wonderful. That was advice go. given me given to me one time by somebody. Don't rush the project. If it's good, don't rush it. It will it will come when it's ready. So we I got agree. one coming out for Stranger. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, we got we, one, have- we got one coming out for Stranger. Okay, that'll be great. And that's what we were talking about right now. That's what we're going to play next. So why don't we show the people Stranger, and um, they'll be surprised when the video comes out. It'll be bonus. So here we go with Stranger. Written by Crossover. Stranger written by Crossover and Andy himself, another wonderful song. Um, have you, did I read somewhere that you were in a song contest or you something you won a song contest, Nick? What was that about? 
we put on a we put on a contest on an application where I sing on. Uh, okay. I've been singing for four years on there called Star Maker. Okay. Um, we had ten contestants um, battle it out for two weeks. Um, we oh. had three judges, and then we had one winner. And the winner, the prize was to feature on the song with us. So oh. we had Nikki Wright, uh, Nikki Harms on the app that uh, won, and we actually released. What last month, two months ago, we released the world we live. September. I, I caught it when it came out. September twenty eighth. Yes. I believe. Yes. Exactly. That's really cool. They have every American Idol, every you know contest, um, singer songwriters. I won one time for a commercial, uh, you know, Dodge oh. Bolt or something. Yeah. So you know, you, it's fun. And I say, put yourself out there to whatever you can get out there. You know, something will stick. So. Absolutely. Cool. Well, we get so many opportunities uh, to yeah. do podcasts like with you to uh, to have our songs playing on radios. And uh, we yeah. wanted to give back an opportunity to somebody. And I mean, that application is hiding a lot of beautiful golden voices. And Nikki is just yeah. one of them. Oh, like, what a cool experience. That's great. Yeah. We're going to go ahead and listen to that. But what I want to make sure to do um, before we wrap up after this song, I want to make sure we can show everybody your links. They will all be included on the, our website, you know, and this is um, put out the 1st of December. But I want you to run through all your links and things like that after we get back listening to this uh, most recent song release, which was called The World We Live. With that said, here's Crossover and The World We Live. <laughs>
back with Nix and Andy from Crossover, and that was their most recent release, The World We Live. So tell me, I, you broke the news that you're coming to the States in February, yes. and you guys are going to finally meet and get together. Uh, what all do you have planned? You, uh, do you have music ready to go that you want to record? I mean, we talked about the videos. Uh, or are you just, is this just to actually meet your, your groupies? Well, we, we want to meet, we want to practice, we want to play together, yeah. we wanna, yeah. you know, like we, we're, we're meshing so well from far apart. I mean, how well are we going to mesh playing music all together? Like, yeah, uh, we want to jam, we want to, I want to sit down and talk to the boys and, you know, yeah. like get to know them face to face. Um, I know I have a project of filming everything. Um, yeah. Because... I mean, we've, that's our past. That's our story. We're the band that never met. Yeah, oh. I know. It's crazy. Do We're you, do you think you would, and this is very presumptuous to ask, but do you think you would, if everything starts popping, you would move to the States? Absolutely. Yeah. It's, it's already in the plans. It's okay. already, uh, music's down there. Family's down there. Wonderful. Um, well, we want to welcome you. So, and you know, you can stop by in Iowa anytime to say hi if you're on a cross country travel. Absolutely. <laughs> at one point, I will, we're hoping we're going to be able to hit everywhere at one point, even if it's just small venues and we yeah. just want to get our music out there. Yeah. I would love it for you to come see our studio. It's, it's been around for 40 or 50 years. Uh, my partner owns it and we've had everyone from Slipknot to Brian Wilson from the Beach Boys, and it's just an analog, awesome uh, recording studio. Two inch tape. That's still, amazing. we're still doing two inch tape. It's it's fun. But if you're ever yeah. in the area again, you guys have a free offer to come by. Absolutely, yeah. and I'm sure Javier would love to see that. With Absolutely. him having his own studio, I'm sure he'd be like, if he'd be here, he'd be all over that. Like, I will send you some links uh, after the show, so so we Absolutely. can keep in touch about that. Um, upcoming music and stuff, you guys will probably come up with some stuff when you finally get together in February. But yeah. what I want you to do is share your links where everybody can find your music. And we'll make uh, sure to include them. But uh, you have one page that takes you to all the links. And I don't know yeah. what page that is. It's a link tree. So basically, it's link tree crossover. Okay. Uh, you can go on Facebook, type crossover, uh, hit the follow button. And on there, the link tree is there. Um, we have Spotify, Amazon Music, Pandora, um, Instagram, TikTok. Yeah. So basically what I found when I typed in your name, everything came up. So that's we'll keep it simple, but we will include your links on, on the page as well. Perfect. Yeah. And like Nick's mentioned, make sure when you listen to their music, you hit that subscribe button so you can hear everything that's coming up with their their project as well um anything andy you want to add well i'm just i'm wondering you said you had slipknot over there <laughs> on crayon yep they did they did their first demo here at juniors motel recording studio in Otho, iowa wow okay <laughs> i played some violin for the clown and and um he's been a good friend over the years wow that's okay. very cool yeah, not exactly. I mean, we, we come from different spectrums of music. You know, I don't do what he does, but at the same time, we can we can meet in the middle sometimes. So it's fun. But that's music. Music can just unite people. Exactly. It's a language of its own. So I will make sure everyone to keep the links um, on our page. It will come out on YouTube December 1st. I might have the audio for you a few days prior. And that's also cool. for my fit. Yeah, you're welcome. Also, for my fans, don't forget to hit my subscribe button to the Indie Music Room, where I have international, national artists, um, different every month. And you get to listen to that several times per month, eight times on audio, and then it's on YouTube forever. So don't forget to hit subscribe. Any last parting words, you two? I just want to thank you and thank everybody for, you know, giving yeah. us an opportunity to share our messages, our songs. Absolutely. Uh, it's much yeah. appreciated. You got it. You got it. And um, I look forward to seeing you at the uh, Music Awards someday. I'll be watching for you and I'll say I knew them when. So. <laughs> You've been listening to the Indie Music Room with Heather Kelly. 
Be sure to listen every Saturday and Sunday right here on FortDodgeRadio.com and subscribe for all our past and upcoming shows. The Indie Music Room is a production of FortDodgeRadio.com.